Okay, so for those of you who don't know, the Leaf has a hidden diagnostic menu on the central dashboard computer. Um, there's a little trick to get in there. Um, I will preface this video with a big warning saying, don't mess with anything in this menu. Um, this is purely for educational uh, purposes. I don't take responsibility for anything you do to your car uh, by messing around in here. Some of these settings may potentially make your car unroadworthy, so seriously, don't mess with this stuff. We'll just take a look at the menu and we're not gonna change anything. Right, so without further ado, let's hop in and uh, take a look. Okay, so we just turned the car on and we're at the map screen. Now I'm gonna turn the volume down because we will need to turn uh, to hit that button a couple of times. But the way, way we get into this is you press the map button three times, power button twice, and then the map button once again. Uh, we then get a, a couple of options on this system diagnostic menu. We've got self-diagnosis, which uh, just tries to communicate with a couple other pieces of the car and just make sure that they're all functioning as expected. So that's connected normally. I mean, they're all gonna say connected normally because they've all got green lights. There's not really a lot here. This is for Nissan engineers to look at when servicing your car. It's not intended for us to use. Um, obviously that's why they've hidden it behind that kind of cryptic uh, set of buttons to press to actually get in there. Now, we've got a few other tests in here. We've got display diagnosis, which will give us a few nice color patterns. Again, really just, so, I mean, they'll have a checklist of things to test when it's coming out of the factory and when they're doing servicing on it. Um, calibration for the touch panel, I'm not gonna mess with that because I really don't wanna mess up my touch panel. And there's an option to just make the screen completely white, which is not, I mean, I can't really do a lot there. Uh, if you do go into that, the map button just seemed to get me out of there. The back button and tapping on the screen did not. Uh, got an option for vehicle signals which tells you which lights are currently turned on uh, if I turn the lights off you can see those states change there uh, again it's just tests for them to run uh, to make sure that everything's working as it should in the computer uh, you've got navigation sensor information uh, that's actually telling you about the GPS satellites there the ones it's talking to and which ones it's not um, there's some it's telling you the exact timestamp it's getting um, obviously that dates in reverse format because it's a, a Japanese device and they use year, month, day format. Um, so yeah, I, I mean, this appears to be showing you the signal strength to the, uh, the individual satellites, which is interesting, but you know, not hugely useful to, uh, unless you're just trying to debug the, the GPS system, I guess. Um, uh, you can see any errors on the vehicle, so I apparently have none at the moment, which is interesting. Um, so I guess, hmm, I might have to check, see if uh, if I ever get any issues uh, that show up on Leaf Spy. It might be worth checking there as well to see if anything else comes up. Uh, we can see here that the various uh, parts of the car are all talking to each other. ITM, I can't remember what that stands for. Uh, obviously, Navi is navigation, audio is audio, and this is the something control unit, traction control unit, I guess. Um, STRG. I'm going to guess storage. Uh, maybe that's power storage as in the battery. I'm not really sure um, If anyone knows more, please do drop something in the comments because I'd love to learn more about what all these things mean because it means very little to me I can tell you that TX and RX means transmit and receive um, And everything's showing okay, so that all seems good to me uh, Let's scroll down. Oh, we missed one. So we've got hands-free phone Nissan Connect TV um, So I guess you can uh, test various parts of that Um you can see your total distance there, I guess, which is, uh, I suppose that's probably what, well, 9,700-ish miles, so I guess that's probably about right, actually, in kilometers. Uh, let's see what else we've got here. So, camera. Uh, yeah, don't mess with any of those, because you will probably mess up how your camera works. Um, you can tell it what type of camera you've got, so I guess, uh, yeah, it's the same system that they use whether you've got just a standard rear camera or a round view monitor. Don't know what FAP stands for. Um, uh, obviously, without a camera, I guess that would be your um, Vizier models. I wonder if FAP is the uh, auto parking camera without the seams on the around view monitor. Um, that's uh, Yeah, that's interesting. Uh, I'm not going to mess with initialize settings or delete logs. I will go to the version information. I can see the uh, software versions of various components in the car. Uh, there is a software update one. I'm told that requires an SD card. I don't want to press it in case I accidentally brick uh, the system. I don't want to do a speaker test because it will probably come in quite loud over this. Uh, but we'll have a look at DAB. 
Okay, we won't have a look at DAB because that actually started the radio playing and obviously I don't want to get a copyright strike so I'm going to have to cut that bit of the video out. Anyway, right, so that is pretty much all there is in here. Um, you know, it, it's not designed for us to use. It's not designed to be hugely interesting. It's designed for... Um, you know, a Nissan engineer to sit there with a checklist, test that various things on the car are working as expected. Um, right, so to get out of this screen, what you do is you press the back button in the top left and the uh, computer, the Nissan Connect TV computer reboots. The dash computer doesn't, just this one over here reboots. So I guess that could be handy if for any reason this locks up, you could try going into that menu, or if you get any kind of weird behaviours, you could try going into that menu and rebooting it without having to turn the car off and on. Um, but yeah, that's really the only the only real benefit to going in there, unless you really want to have a nosy at the software versions or something like that. Um, could be interesting uh, after I get my um, my first service to see if any of those software versions change, see if they put any software updates in and forget to tell me. Uh, but I guess we'll uh, we'll see. Okay, so that wraps up our quick look at the hidden diagnostic menu on the 2018 Nissan Leaf. If you do attempt this on your own vehicle, please remember not to change any of the settings in there. If you do, you could cause damage to your car or void your warranty or make it unroadworthy or something like that. Uh, obviously, I accept no responsibility for anything you do to your car, uh, on your own head be it, but that's how you get in. If you like this video, please remember to hit the like icon. If you didn't, there's another button around somewhere, I don't know. Um, remember to subscribe as well if you haven't already. Uh, if you hit the little bell icon, it will give you a notification uh, every time I post a new video. Right, thanks for watching.